So let me give you some context for this video. Today is Tuesday and I've got an A-level exam on Friday, so in four days. The aim of these days is to keep up with my gym and diet routine while also finding enough time to advise for my exam. So yeah, here's how I balance gym and exams. So I wake up at about 6.45am, I then get a shower, get changed and then I'm off to breakfast. I have about 125 grams of porridge which is that many calories and then once the porridge is finished I make myself a four egg omelette. Once I have my omelette, it's time to head to school. My first two periods were IT, which is what the exam's on. So my final two periods are free periods. This is basically where students get free reign on what they do, so you can mess about or you can get on with work. Free period rooms are really distracting, so me and my mate decided to go to the library which was a lot more quiet and get on with work. More specifically, the work on the exam I had on Friday. And I am back. First, as soon as I get back every day, I change out of this into something more comfortable. Let's do that now. This is much better. Right, so the time right now is 5 p.m. And that's about the time I get back every single day. So I've got from 5 till 10.30 to basically pack in, working out, eating a lot because I'm bulking, and then obviously revising for the exam. In addition to that, there's also stuff like you don't want to be just working out, eating, and working the whole night. You want to have a bit of pleasure. You want to kind of, you know, give yourself some free time, basically. So that's why I recently decided to make myself a schedule for the evening. Now, trust me when I say this, it seems simple, but schedules help immensely. Let me show you the evening, show you the whole schedule, and then tomorrow I'll do an overview of it. But first, before we do anything, I got some good news, some big news. I've received my first ever sponsors. Le let me tell you about them. So I recently put on my community tab, basically asking if you guys wanted me to start doing sponsorships, and the results were really positive. 92% of you out of 7,000 votes said that you do want me to start doing them, and here we are. So I want to thank today's sponsors, Skillshare. So what is Skillshare? Basically like it's an online learning community where millions of people come together to take the next step in their creative journey. And when I say creative journey, it can be anything. So from classes to do with illustration, photography, freelancing, and my personal favorite, videos. So like on Skillshare, there's a low budget filmmaking course, which is super helpful, especially for those individuals who kind of want to start getting into YouTube. It, it's really good. You guys know how much I enjoy video editing and how much time I spend in editing. They try and get most classes under about 60 minutes so it can fit your schedule. I know me, I am really hectic with time, so I don't want it to be too long. One reason that I feel like Skillshare is such a good sponsor is because it's just turned 2020. Like, start a new year with a new skill. Learn a brand new skill and make it a really productive year. That's I feel like that's such a good idea. You should always have that goal in your head. Maybe learn how to edit insanely good videos. It's also like really affordable. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month, which is that many pounds, which compared to like pricey in-person workshops is really good. So uh, click the link in the description to get two free months of premium membership and explore your creativity. Right, let's go on with the rest of the night.
This is insanely calorie dense. There's that many calories per bottle of these. With that, we'll have pasta. Now, pasta's really good because super easy to eat, super easy to make, uh, and it's really, really quick, which is really important for when you're having to advise all the time. Finally, with that, I've got a tub of chicken. So, the chicken is pre-made. I made this, I think, two days ago, and this is really common for bodybuilders. And it's very common within the fitness industry, but I just don't see that many people doing it. Basically what you do is you get a pack of chicken, a big pack of chicken, you make it, and then you store it for a couple of days so you can take it out whenever you want without having to cook a new batch of chicken. This is not only quicker, but it also saves a lot of money because buying the chicken in bulk instead of constantly having to go out and buy more. Let's make this now. <laughs> So I finished my workout at about 7.15, which then gives me 15 minutes to make my pasta and pesto, which I then add chicken to. So then from 7.30 to 8.30, I'm eating my pesto and pasta while doing a revision. After a revision, I need a break. Breaks are pretty essential because you lose concentration if you're just working for too long. So from 8.30 till 9, I'll be watching TV or doing some other type of activity. So the current time is 9.02. I've given myself enough space between my meals. I've done a decent amount of work and I've had a good break. Now it is time for the final meal of the night. Another classic meal. We've got ourselves rice, which I have 150 grams of uncooked rice with some more chicken and then frozen broccoli. Now the calories on this meal is that. And honestly, it's quite a lot of calories for when you're bulking, but it's also really good calories. It's got a lot of nutrients from the broccoli, good complex carbs from the rice, and then a good amount of protein with the chicken. So I start eating my final meal at about 9.30 and I'm also doing about an hour's work while I'm eating. And then at 10.30 I go to bed. And it has been a couple of days since that day. Today's actually Thursday, which is the night before my exam. Just want to go over everything pretty quickly. The schedule works like this. Basically, throughout school, it's just like a normal school day. However, I'm trying to make the most out of my free periods. And I'm also, it sounds simple, but concentrate a lot harder than you usually do in lessons. Because you actually learn so much from lessons if you put your mind to it. But you can easily just drift off and the teacher won't notice. Yeah, that's down to you. So, when I get back, uh, my mum makes me a meal. I know the this isn't always accessible, so not everyone gets meals made by their mum. Maybe not living with your parents. Some of the good food examples would be chicken rice and broccoli, pasta and chicken, pasta, chicken and cheese. There's so many quick meals which you can make instead of this. But in my case, my mum makes me a meal. After that, I do about half an hour of vision and then it's time for the workout, which usually lasts me about an hour and 15 minutes. Once I finish the workout, I make my next meal, which takes about 15 minutes to make. I then do an hour of work while eating that meal. The meal takes about 15, 20 minutes to eat. 
and then I've got 40 minutes of just doing work. Then another half an hour break by watching the TV or playing a game or something like that. And then back to it again, making another meal and then an hour of revision while eating. So yeah, that is kind of the plan. Like I said earlier, it's really important to stick to a schedule, I think, because if you don't, it's really easy to kind of drift off and do something else, which most likely gonna be like, so much less productive. Uh, yeah, that's just what I think. Another big thing is mobile phones. One key thing that I'd say is don't have your phone on charge in your room. Have it on charge in a different room. Sleep is crucial for exams and you want to optimize the most amount of sleep as you can. Being distracted with your phone there, it's so easy to just kind of pick it up and go on it and then the next thing you know you're on it, you've been on it for two hours. So my best advice would be put the phone away. It's hard but it really does help. <sighs> so that's the video guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope I helped you out a little bit. If it did, it would mean the world if you gave it a like, subscribed, um, switch the bell so you get notified whenever I upload a video. Yeah, comment down below what you want me to do in the next video. Cheers guys.